a few more things that you might want to take note about uh, sections. Um, there, if we open up, so the section is a marker on the plan that links itself to the actual section drawing. Um, once we select that section, we can uh, either open it by clicking here once or double clicking the section tool and it opens up a, uh, a, a dialog box um, which we looked at in the previous tutorial. Um, so in this section here under general um, this is where we can control the horizontal range. Remember I was talking about the eyeball and how far into a drawing so into, this, into the model we can see the section well, when we set it to infinite, then we click the eyeball and we see everything past the model, um, past this line here, in this direction. And we can choose limited. Um, so the eye, where we click the eyeball um, determines how far into the model we'll see. Um, and we can also have a zero depth one, that is it just does a hairline thickness at that point where you cut the line. There's also vertical ranges so um, we can uh, create sections for example that only go from floor to ceiling and not, not only doesn't don't, uh, they don't cut all the way through the model. And that's quite handy. Um, sometimes you might want to do an internal uh, view of a bathroom or a laundry or something like that. Um, let's open up the section and I'll do it through the navigator palette. You notice that um, um, I, I can right click by the way in while I'm in a section and open up the section marker. Uh, sorry, I can right click and open up the uh, section uh, settings uh, which is the same as selecting it on the floor plan and choosing it that way. Um, down in modeling we can control a number of things. Um, uncut surfaces, that is um, if we you know, see parts of the building that haven't been cut through, like that wall for example, um, we can fill that with um, color if we want so its own materials. So if we say OK, um, you can see the colour of that internal wall has been shown. And we can choose, I can right click again and open the section settings and play around with that. Now in a typical working drawing we show nothing. Um, transparency is normally switched off on a working drawing so we can't see through the glass and shadows are normally switched off unless we're doing some sort of a presentation drawing. Okay? So um, what we should be seeing on a typical working drawing is something like that. But there's um, nothing to say that you can't go around and play with those things. Okay? So uh, for example if I did a section in this direction um, I'm going to cut a section this way, this time, and look there. Uh, right click on that marker, open the section, um, and I can see um, the model that I've just created. If I right click and go to section settings, I can choose not to have it infinite and only have it limited so that I won't see all the way through to everything past my model. Um, right click again, open section settings and if I choose to uncut uh, elements, choose to display the model's own materials, say OK, you notice that we start to see colour on the elevation um, and shadows, but like I said, normally section settings, we normally don't show anything um, any colour on a working drawing. Uh, don't show transparency so when we end up having glass in windows you can't see into the building and we normally don't have shadows. Okay, So it looks much more simplistic. 
The other thing I should point out is that these uh, story markers are also controlled through the story settings dialog box. So for example, if I don't want to show the AHD marker, I can switch it off from here. Say OK, um, and it disappears off my section. Okay. Um, why don't you have a go at some of those things, and we might uh, move on to other tools.